WI Under 18 training, there's obviously an abundance of talent, but tonight we're here to catch up with a kid who's just as talented off the field. As a member of WI's elite Under 18s Academy, Jermaine Miller Lewis is in the sights of AFL scouts across the country. The Armadale Junior is pretty good with his hands. When it's not a footy, he's handling paint and a canvas. Since leaving school, he's been earning a living as a professional artist. I water the paint right down and yep. put it on my lips and then sort of just blow. I started art when I was about 16. Yeah, I, I had a bit of issues like getting out outside, outside of football. I didn't know, like my headspace was all caught around footy all the time. I didn't have a, um, a release point, like yeah, a release point. Um, everything was really building up, say so State 16s was coming up and I was stressed out about a lot of things and, and it was showing and I, I, outside of around and that side, so mum one day she was just um, painting um, painting at home and she had an extra canvas so I said I, I, was, I was like sort of challenged it, I'm very competitive, I was like I can do a better one than that so I picked it up and started doing it, it took me about two weeks but I ended up finishing it and it was, it was awesome so and that feeling of finishing a painting and then putting it up on the wall and, and saying oh, I did that, that's for me that is that's that's the best feeling best feeling in the world. That's the people on the ground reaching up to the universe, that's us, the indigenous people reaching up to the sky, bringing our bringing our stories down to us and living off them pretty much and and yeah that's how, that's the dream and bringing them back to back to earth. He does everything at 100 miles an hour, you know, he's uh, a very, very passionate kid and uh, yeah, look, he, he stood out from the, from the get-go and you could just see the potential there initially and uh, then when you met the kid and uh, talked to him, he's such a likeable fella, uh, got his head screwed on right and yeah, you knew there was going to be something special there with him. The South Frio Colt is one of ten siblings. He regularly commandeers his mum's kitchen table, turning it into a workbench in the name of art. Talk me through this. These here, those are um, people. Yep. My, my nan used to do them. Um, she used to be an artist. And I've just seen photos of her old paintings and that's how she used to do the people. So with this one, it's just, those are the people all, all gathering around. The footprints, the dancing on the sand. And, and yeah, that's how, it sort of, that's how it was, that's how we did it. I just think it's terrific that he's proud of his culture and you know, and, and he's and he's living it, you know, and he's, uh, it's it's a strong value of his, and you know, he's a terrific artist, and also he does a lot of dance, and uh, he was dancing actually before the in the Indigenous round before the Kangaroos Eagles game, so you know, it's something he's very proud of, and you know, we're very supportive of it as a, as a coaching staff. Jermaine expressed his interest in traditional Aboriginal dance, and not long ago, at one of his art shows, his mum introduced him to the Wadamba Dance Group, who immediately offered the footballer a month-long trial. It was enough time to learn some moves. They chucked him straight in the deep, a uh, big performance in front of a few hundred people. Uh, I've never did anything like that, and I felt comfortable at home. And yeah, I'm just when I'm dancing, I'm in another zone. I'm I'm not Jermaine. Whether it's the Im Imu dance or if I'm doing the spirit dance, I'm not Jermaine. I'd say if we're doing the Imu dance, I'm the Imu. Because that's for performing. You have got to transform traditionally and performing to people. That that's what they want to see. They don't want to see someone just jumping up there, just poking around or something. You got to be the animal. You got to think. You, you got to put your headspace somewhere else. So that's what I enjoy about it, and I love the, the feeling of the dig off. Oh, it just, it just spiritually, it, yeah, it helps me a lot. The dancing spiritually. Yeah. He obviously loves his dancing and his art, and his. Um, I've seen a bit of his work actually, and it's pretty amazing. Some of the stuff he does, and I know he um, gets a bit of business out of it, which is good for him as well. Like Jermaine, Brad Walsh is one of around 40 teens selected in the state's most elite junior program. It's a talent factory that aims at mimicking the work environment of an AFL club. These draft prospects are taught valuable lessons about finding a balance. Boys, make it good. One, two, three. Make it good. 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 Make it good.
you get to that stage where you sort of get a bit sick of footy, I guess, because it's just full on um, all the time. So it's good to have those sort of breaks every now and then. And finding a hobby just like he did is, is one of the easiest things to do. And you enjoy it and it takes your mind off it as well. So I think it's important. I mean, I love my basketball as well. So I love to go around with the boys and have a shoot around and just things like that to get your mind off footy really, um, yeah, really helps. One line starts here, let's go. At the moment, Jermaine's under-18s carnival is on hold. A hot spot in his shin means he can't train or play. In fact, he hasn't played footy since last September. It's hard work. That's, it's just hard work. Being on the boundary line, for nine months watching watching on, watching your teammates have good fun and then coming in the state program, it, it's, it's really hard but there's, there's no space to, for sympathy, you know, you know what I mean? And you can't feel sorry for yourself, you just got to stick at it, stick at it and I know at the end of the day, whether it's next year, the year after or the year after, something good's got to come out of it. So that's why, I'm, that's why I stick around because I know, I know what I'm capable of and and I know, I know if I stick at it and stick at it, something good's going to come out of it.